Uh, Salma, I love your look in this movie. Um, I don't know if it was a wig or if you actually had this grayish silver hair that you went out with. It was a wig and I was testing it for my future because I'm getting all this white hair <laughs> and I'm too lazy to dye it. To di is that right? Not, not to dye it because I'm actually on a diet whether I'm lazy or not. You know, in, in time you have to do it, but to dye it. <laughs> and so, you know, I think I'm just gonna let it happen. Did you like it? Is. Yeah, I like it white. I like it. Yeah. The premise of the movie is about these two cousins who um, are of uh, second generation uh, of uh, Russian immigrants. And they have this idea to beat the stock market, and that is to build a 1,000 mile long fiber optic tunnel that would link the Kansas Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. And by gaining that single millisecond of time in the, their financial transactions, they're hoping to make millions off of it. And eventually these guys are kind of, like, kind of going to lose their ground and uh, wonder about the purpose of their enterprise. One of the most challenging things about talking about this, the financial system, the stock market, is making it compelling and visual. And it is true that this story brings these, these, these two characters through, and uh, these three characters, through, muds and, through mud and swamps and, and rivers and, and forests. And it's just great to see these actual um, cousins that are very different. I, I was fascinated by that premise that we could see visually and physically something that related to the stock market. No, we met actually, no, uh, we met briefly for like a rehearsal and then a few months later, right before we started filming. It was kind of, you know, really easy and natural, especially because um, his character requires so much uh, attention and his character is like uh, kind of, in a lot of ways, like uh, requires like kind of supervision. And so um, that's our natural like relationship off screen as well. So yeah. it kind of just translated very well. You do need right? Yeah. Quite <laughs> you were bald. What was it like to live life as a bald man? Yeah, how is it to be bald? He, he was practicing uh, for the future the too, like me. <laughs> yeah. He was practicing for yeah. the future also. I loved it. I loved it. It was a bit of a struggle to get there. I uh, really wanted it. I could tell that Kim liked the idea but there were other people involved, uh, you know, money people who were a bit uh, slightly concerned about it. Um, so it started out as a bit of a negotiation where I was like, I want to be bald. And they said, <laughs> what about like just a slightly receding hairline? Like a little bit, just like, and I was like, no, I think you should be bald. And then I could tell that Kim is a very lovely man, as you can tell, and he was very diplomatic and he was trying to kind of appease all of us. and. But I could tell, like, deep down, creatively, he liked the idea. Totally. So one day I said to Anne, our, our, uh, uh, our hair and makeup lady, I was like, well, let's just, let's just do it. Let's shave it off and, and we'll... And then First time you arrived on set, you go, hurry, just shave it. Yeah. We won't have to discuss it. And Anne was like, are you sure? Are you sure? I was like, yeah, you know, Kim likes the idea. And, like, the creative <laughs> people are here and we have to make this decision. This is how we all envision the character and let, let's just go for it. And we did. Then I said, oh, we found the look. I said to a to different people who were involved in financing the film said, oh, look, isn't that great? I said, oh, no, 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 <laughs> not to Alex, don't do this yeah. to Alex. Did it make you smarter? Did you feel smarter? So I was suddenly so intelligent. <laughs> I, I, yeah. you know, yeah. I tell you what was really bizarre for me is that we have a scene where he's like in a jacuzzi and it was so limiting and they kept saying, no, we have to keep only the head out. Only, we cannot do anything because only the head can be out. And I'm like, but why? And for the first time I hear, because his body is too good. <laughs> we have to hide the body of Alexander yeah. from the people yeah. because the body is too good. Yeah. No nudity in the movie. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience. You know, I, when I read Kim's script, I, I immediately fell in love with it. I thought it was um, a story worth telling. I thought it was a timeless story. And to have, you know, these two cousins that are pursuing um, the stock market at the, in the, on the backdrop of a forest, you know, to have these kind of juxtaposing complete opposite thoughts happening at the same time, you know, the, the, the flap of a hummingbird's wing, which is how fast they want to get the information across the fiber optic, and um, which is, a, you know, a, a bird which is, represents nature and then the pursuit of capitalism. And to have those happen together and have these characters go through this incredible arc I immediately said yes. And I remember when I got the script, and I said, you don't know how hard it is to find a role for, for a Latin woman that is 
in such a position of power. I love the fact that he doesn't go with the stereotypes. Yeah. He really is open to try different things. And I thought they were great. And I, I mean, of course, he looks completely different. And, and Alex is doing a character that you would never imagine. But also to, to, to be able to work with Jesse and see him in this other phase was super exciting. So I love that about yeah, him. Definitely, I think a theme generally in the whole film, and I have to really salute you for it. I think everything is contrasting, everything you expect it's from the fun. casting to the, to the story to the ending. It, it's always everything's flipped in a very, very interesting way. And I think it's a I think that's kind of what attracted everybody to um, your vision. Yeah.